as flash floods hit Cornwall today. The text alerts that will give you a direct warning about severe weather and other life-threatening events. A new emergency warning system allowing text alerts to be sent direct to your mobile phone will go live across Great Britain in October. The Cabinet Office says the technology will warn up to 85% of the population of severe weather and other life-threatening events. The alerts, which will look like this, have recently been tested in East Suffolk and there are plans for it to be rolled out across the UK. Here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Tom Simons. The two extremes of our changing climate. Fires this summer made it hard to remember the floods of autumn and winter. The government believes using social media to warn us of a risk to life is too hit or miss. So it has tested this new alert system. It looks like this and sounds like this. These warnings are different because they're sent directly to phone masts and from there to every smartphone capable of receiving them, an estimated 85% of the population. That's where the atmosphere is more conducive to forcing uh, weather events to happen. To Touring the Met Office today, the Resilience Minister said we'll all be opted in from the start. Yes, you can opt out. The problem with getting people to opt in is that that becomes a bit hit and miss itself. And so vital is this information, particularly, for example, if there's a wildfire or if there's a flood uh, risk coming, that we think it is the case is made for us to make sure that everybody has the information. And then in future, if they don't want it, they can just opt out. Can you believe it's raining? Oh, it's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? On the Somerset levels, Bryony Sadler's home was severely flooded in 2014. Eight years later, the weather is just as unpredictable. What does she make of the new warning system? Uh, let me show you some idea of what it's okay. going to be like. It looks like this and sounds like this. It's quite a formidable sound. It's not a nice text message sound, is it? She wasn't against the alerts, but in this area, she said, people looked out for each other. It's all about community, isn't it? It's all about helping your neighbour, helping each other, you know, sorting yourself out and then giving a bit of time back to other people. Of course, by the time an alert's been sent, it's too late to prevent a major emergency like flooding. But round here on the Somerset levels, they would stress the need to spend money on preventative measures, like this pumping system designed to put the water back into the river it came from. But back at the Met Office, they know warning about extreme conditions is increasingly important. I think we just keep the message going. And I think eventually people will start to think maybe the second time, maybe the third time, maybe the fourth time. Maybe they'll get trapped in a flash flood and go, oh yeah, I was warned about it. Maybe next time I need to do something about it. After an awareness campaign, people across the UK will get an introductory warning alert in October. And the new system will go live just in time for this year's flood season. Tom Simons, BBC News, Somerset.